Hello and welcome to episode 7 of our Timberborn Update 5 Iron Teeth Mega Build playthrough. Here in cycle 12, day 1. You see a lot of thirsty beavers and that's because we had some gross negligence happen in the previous few episodes. And we've caused a lot of problems including having 16 contaminated beavers. Uh, six of whom have the opportunity to recuperate in any given time uh, because of how things are set up. But basically that's where we're at. We had something pretty good going, and then a couple of small mistakes kind of spiraled and uh, turned into the chaos that some of you love, some of you hate, but all of us get interesting <laughs> video from at any rate. So today we're going to try and fix all that stuff, or as much as we can, and we're going to keep on moving toward our eventual goal of having a thousand beavers. I'm going to try and do a thousand. Don't know if we're going to be able to get all the way there, but we have plenty to do. So... Uh, things that we've learned since last episode, uh, last time I recorded this actually was uh, substantially earlier in the week. And since then, they have put a, an update out that has changed the way spirituality works. And that has removed the need for the Iron Teeth. And uh, as a result, our beloved Frog Statue mod is no more. We cannot use it in the Iron Teeth faction. I am distraught. It is, <laughs> it's unfortunate, but it, it was breaking this save for a long time and I could not figure out what was going wrong. And then uh, MP3Zilla over in the Discord said, hey, the uh, frog frog statue mod is what broke mine, so check that out. And I did, so thank you, MP3. Thanks for uh, fixing that for me, giving me the uh, idea because I was about to pull, pull my hair out trying to figure this whole thing out. But I digress. We have lots to get done, lots to get to, and all sorts of exciting stuff to... Uh, to get back to. So, things that we're going to do today, uh, plant a lot more kohlrabis. Now, we are in a fresh cycle, so we actually can replant all of this as just regular kohlrabis and just go absolutely ham on collecting them, and that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually put in another farmhouse uh, down here in the corner, and we're going to try and get as many of these <laughs> growing and uh, replanting and etc., so on and so forth, as we possibly can, because we got to get some food stored up, because uh, we can't rely on having power during bad tides, unless, or not bad tides, droughts rather, unless we get some stuff figured out. But on that topic, you might notice that the engine has a slightly different look, and that is because it has finally received a much needed update and turned it into a building that I no longer actively despise. Uh, power connects on all three sides, right here. And, uh, well, and before you also don't have to employ anybody here. So engines, I don't hate as much anymore because now it's not a huge pain in the, you know, what to use them. So we're probably going to put a couple more of those in. If we can find a spot, uh, we are going to have to shuffle some things around and see what happens there. But I digress. We have tons of stuff going on. We actually don't even need to have any trees growing here because we have so many trees everywhere else. This is growing plenty of trees as is this. So I'm actually going to uh, unplant. I'm not going to I'm not going to get rid of these trees. But I'm going to unplant them. And this forester is actually going to become well nobody's working there anyway. Uh, that's going to become a farmhouse. And we are going to start farming up here as well. We're going to cut absolutely all of these trees and they are they are marked for cutting. We just have to have enough beavers that are eligible to work because we have 46 vacancies. <laughs> And 17 incapacitated beavers. It's one of those things where we're just going to have to, you know, deal with it uh, as we are able to because there's not really much else we can do. But let's go ahead and get through the rest of this evening with the help of turbo mode while we get to work on the rest of this stuff. So a lot of you have had some pretty strong opinions about the irrigation. Some of you are wrong. Some of you are correct. Uh, so the ones who are correct are the people who have said, hey, Get rid of the uh, the little trenches here and get rid of these platforms that are uh, over there. And you can just put in levees right here to stop the spread of water to places it doesn't have to go. So I know I just said triple speed. We'll go back down to go back down to normal because now the beavers are actually working. So by shutting this off, we're not going to lose as much to evaporation, and the actual uh, irrigation is going to remain unchanged because they have water on all four sides. So we're going to do that one little corner at a time so we don't lose actual pathing uh, because that's kind of an important thing. And then another thing that a bunch of people, or at least one person has mentioned several times, uh, this right here, this dam piece, uh, we don't need. 
But we also didn't have a path on there, so now we have a we have a path right there. Everything's connected again. And uh, regarding the uh, what what are these things called? Irrigation barriers. Oh uh, yeah, in this faction it's irrigation barriers. It's contamination in the folktales. Um, people were starting to get a little bit of uh, what, what's the, what's the word? I don't I don't want to paint people as being like angry about it, but the, shall we say passionately uh, passionately telling me not to put irrigation barriers here. Yes, uh, that does make sense to not put those here because this is already protected. We have our floodgates here are automatic uh, closing when they get any contamination. So the only places we're going to need to put um, irrigation barriers is going to be right down here. And it's going to be interesting dealing with that because of the fact that this is so closely tied to uh, getting across things. Because if you remember from down here, these things don't let you actually build paths over them. And the only things you can put on top of them are platforms. That's pretty much it. So if we want to cross these things, we're going to have to have platforms in place above them. So I was kind of thinking, okay, well, maybe I just, uh, in the middle here, line it all the way along the side and then put platforms in place and then just build on top of the platforms. But that's going to cause some problems in terms of how I'm planning on doing power in the future, which is with the large water wheels. Which, uh, okay, I guess the water hasn't gotten through to here yet. Oh, this needs to be closed. I had forgotten about these. These have not been automated, so that's probably what is causing a substantial amount of our uh, our lack of water over here. Yeah, we'll close that up. That's going to go all the way through this side. Now, it shouldn't be flooding. Why is this... Did this not go down? Oh, what's what's up with that? What's up with that, huh? Have that set to disabled. Oh, okay, I didn't want that. I don't know why I had temperate ticked on that. Oh, okay, it's because I was trying to do these other ones. Anyway, so now the water is going to come through here and squeeze its way out. Uh, we are going to be replacing the rest of these. Well, not in the corner. But uh, the rest of these with some more levees as time goes by. But again, we don't have enough beefers to do everything right now. So we don't really need to be that concerned about it. We'll get there in due time. So we have a farmhouse. We actually have guys working here. So let's give them something to do. Why are we flooding? Are you serious? I feel like we already... All right. So I... Uh... Clearly had some sort of stupid setting. Let's, um, I'm glad that wasn't bad water. That's exactly how that happened the first time, too, I'm sure. But, um, there we go. Yep, that should, uh, should work. So we're going to plant. Whew, boy, that was, uh, about to be stressful again. Uh, we're going to plant some kohlrabis here. Uh, pretty much, honestly, any open space we've got, we should be, uh, should be planting these things. Within range. And then as these trees grow up, we will cut them down. That's why these guys are here in the Lumberjack Flags. And we'll get everything taken care of. But we absolutely have to have... Absolutely have to have some more stores of kohlrabis to plant. Even if it's going to be kind of a pain. Uh, this, like, huge, ugly, whatever thing. We just we got to do it. Absolutely have to do it. Yeah. And it's, it's unfortunate about the contaminated beavers because, well, there's not really much of anything we can do about it. And that's just the way it goes. And regarding the uh, regarding the pumps, there's been a lot of people saying different things about the pumps and, oh, you should do this, do that, or what have you. But I always, for, I always forget about uh, good strategies for automating. I'm just not good at the automating things. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just I, I just can't do it. I don't know. I don't know why. My brain just does not work that way, unfortunately. That's why I could not be a programmer. It lasted about uh, five minutes trying to teach myself Java before I gave up. Now, why is this flooding? This should not be flooding here. That doesn't make any sense because this is open. There's not enough water coming through here to actually... Okay, maybe that's just some sort of weird on-again, off-again backflow thing. I don't know. 
I, I feel like the more I play this game, the less I understand it, which doesn't really make any sense. But that's apparently what the apparently the way this is going. So we'll just have to uh, just have to figure out what's going on. I guess fifty three vacancies. This, this is why this is, and we're out of food again. I planted I planted so many more of these things. Oh my god, man! I got so many beavers working as farmers. I guess if we're not going to have any of these, I need just need to pause. Well, they're not working here anyway. Um, yeah, I'll just pause all that. Why not? Why not? Everybody go work in the farm. Because apparently we don't know how to actually have any food, despite there being plenty of it. Very, very, very strange. I don't know. I, I feel like it's kind of impossible for me to have messed this up this poorly, but I guess I did. Anyway, life goes on, and we figure out exactly what we have to be doing with uh, the rest of the stuff. So, uh, I'm going to now do another one of these corners here with the uh, levees. Eventually, this is going to be replaced with the uh, terrain blocks once we have access to that. But we don't at this exact moment. I just, I don't know, I don't know how. I don't know how we just don't have any food. Look, you see how much stuff we've planted and harvested. It just does not make any sense. <sighs> For whatever reason. All right. Um, I still, I don't have enough beavers to do any of this stuff. Why are we, you know what? No more learning. Learning is now strictly disallowed. Okay, so now I actually have... I probably didn't need to pause all those. But now I actually have extra beavers and I can have... I can have them work... Uh, fermenting things. Slowly. Because we do have a little bit to work with here. And this is flooded again. My god, what is it with this? What is it with this? I don't understand. Like, th there's less... It's just, there's less water coming through here than... Well, if I take that back down to 1.5, maybe that will, uh... Maybe that'll help alleviate some of this. I don't know, it's just, it's pushing so much. So much water through here. This is just, this is going to automatically, when it gets to that point, still divert, right? I don't know. Have I missed, have I just missed something where I completely just scooped my brain out with a melon baller and stuck it on somewhere and ignored it? Because, like, what, how, how is this, how is this even possible? I've, I've put in blocks so less water can come out and it's still flooding. It it, oh, it it doesn't make any sense, man. I don't I just I don't get it. I do not understand and there's no food, there's no water. Why 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 is it like this? I have I have haulers, that's not why. Oh man. All right. Well, regardless, we need to have water storage by the pumps so these guys don't have to be going all over the place. Uh, that needs to be set like so. But maybe that's why. I mean, I got so many beavers working on things. It just doesn't make any sense. Well, we're going to be... Uh, we're going to be pretty screwed <laughs> next cycle that comes up. If this doesn't improve. I think probably a big part of it was having 16 contaminated adults. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to get some more bad water because now we're using all of the, uh, we're using all the bad water to make extract, so we can uh, we can decontaminate our beavers. Because oh, the sad thing is, it probably makes more sense economically to just let them die, and save the, save the bad water for making stuff like dynamite that we can actually use. Why is this still flooded? I guess I just have to I guess I just have to have this turned on all the time open or whatever when a uh, drought starts up to one bad tide starts up to one I mean I 
I, what? I, I don't. I don't get it. I just. I really don't. These guys are still thirsty. They're still hungry. There's absolutely nothing I can do about it. They're just absolutely nothing is working. I've paused things so they can go work in the water pumps, but I can't make. I can't make gears because I don't have enough beavers. Oh man. Oh, this is not not working out nicely at all. Well, I don't know. We'll have to figure something out because food is growing. I have a, I have a billion farmers. I feel like half of the beavers working are farmers, and we still can't harvest and uh, keep people eating stuff. I've got storage for all sorts of garbage over here. It's like they just can't do it. I know they work slower when they're hungry and they're thirsty, but just, man, it's like you can't catch a break. And we're all that hungry. Why? Why? Like, there's so much food. Just harvest it. Like, this guy's set specifically to harvest. I feel like I'm going to have to have half of these set just to harvest. Just so we have some sort of hope of having food. Well, that's what that's what you get. That's the way it goes when you have a unedited gameplay tragedy included. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know what I'm doing if I don't. That's part of the deal. But man, is that frustrating. Like everybody's like there's so much food, just harvest it. Just get in the field and pull it out of the ground. Oh, it just gets worse and worse and worse. Like, what is the deal, man? Okay, I know they got minus 50% working speed, but, like, you're picking these things up out of the ground. Eat one and then stop being hungry so you can work faster. I just, I don't get it, man. Ugh, and these injured, contaminated whatevers are... All still super contaminated. Like, what, what, like minus 30? Well, are you serious? Yeah, so you're contaminated, you're hungry, and you're thirsty, and you don't get any sleep. So just, like, forget it, dude. <laughs> it's like, give up. There is absolutely nothing that can be done to solve that problem. And now the, the entire thing is just ground to a screeching halt because of the death spiral. That's what this game loves to do, apparently. I, I don't know. I feel like the I feel like the changes now have made it too difficult for most people. And like, I'm not saying that I have I've become like this world beating talent at this game, because clearly I have not, if you've seen my videos, but I have played hundreds and hundreds of hours of this game, and if I'm struggling this much, I can't even I can't even imagine how hard it is. In normal mode. Mind you, I can't even imagine how hard it is for someone who doesn't know the game is just starting out to even have any chance of surviving. But uh, it's where we find ourselves, and despite every single thing I have tried, they still will not harvest all this food because nobody can work because everybody's hungry, and everybody's hungry because they're not working. So it's, uh, what was it, three episodes ago? Three episodes ago. Now, look, look at this. Look at this. Fewer beavers now have the hunger need met than before. And I've got hundreds and hundreds of kohlrabis ready to get plucked out of the ground. Now I, I don't even have... Now I've got fewer fewer beavers that can even work. Well, look, come on, man. What am I supposed to do? This is just unbelievable. Alright, builders. I just pause that thing. And I still have to... <laughs> oh my god, man. Alright. We can stop making uh, stop making traded planks. Stop all that stuff. Yep, somebody died of hunger. Yep, great. All right. Now I'm a now I'm a slum lord, some sort of beaver terrorist or whatever. Not intentionally. They just need to figure out how to you know actually do something. I I really don't feel like it should be this bad, but apparently it is. This is every day the hungry, hungry beavers come in and don't do 
don't do their stuff, and then everybody gets all been out of shape about, I can't work because I'm hungry. Well, you're hungry because you're not working. And so on and so forth. <laughs> Come on, man. How are you supposed to how are you supposed to survive this? Like just harvest the kohlrabis, man. Come on. Like <laughs> it shouldn't be this hard. It really it should not be this hard. And I have soybeans here. I guess I got to pick and choose who's going to do what. Fermented soybeans. Are you also making soybeans? Nope, I don't have another beaver to do that. So I guess we just have the one guy. One guy doing soybeans. At least this has a uh, at least this has a tank here now. I definitely don't have enough gears, and I probably won't for quite a while. Uh, but I'm going to pause. i just pause all industrial activity except for the stinking centrifuge. So I don't know. I don't know if these beavers are actually healing of the of the contamination, or they're just dying. It's probably probably just dying. That's what it is. Boy, what a. Uh, what a hot mess. An absolute steaming hot mess this has become. And I can't even I can't even make more beavers because I can't I can't harvest the berries because they're just gonna eat them. Death spirals on normal mode. This what a what a shame I have brought upon myself with this absolute dumpster fire. Anyway, what else can we possibly get to here? Uh, we're building irrigation barriers, maybe. Uh, so we can plant more trees that we don't really need to be planting because we, <laughs> we already have full storage. Oh man, with everything we already have here. So uh, I'm just going to get rid of that lumberjack flag entirely because this is pretty much just going to be, for right now at least, a uh, pine resin acquisition area. So if that's not even a thing, if this just stays paused, which it probably should then maybe, maybe we'll find ourselves with a fighting chance to get something to just harvest the... Oh my god, man. I, it, it's just everything has just completely gone to hell in a handbasket three times over and twice on Tuesdays. It's just why... <laughs> it, the death spiral is just nuts. And this is, this is like worse than the Water Beavers was. I just like what? What am I even? What am I even supposed to do about this? I guess it kind of seems to be recovering a little bit, at least in terms of hunger. I don't know if that's just because the really hungry ones died, or it's actually getting better. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But uh, hopefully, hopefully, we can start accruing food. I don't. I don't, like. We have so many kohlrabi's here. They just can't. Can't possibly. Uh, harvest all of them. I was hoping to build up a stockpile before we get this next cycle because I'm sure after all of this fun that we are going to be getting a bad tide because that is the funniest possible outcome for the, for the game to do. It's just absolutely just bend me over a barrel with a 2x4. Alright. Well, we are making uh, we are making metal blocks, which is nice. Uh, irrigation barrier, obviously we can't do anything with. Um, oh, they just can't reach this. Okay, they, they have the materials to build it, I'm pretty sure. So maybe now... Yeah, because I got 13 treated planks. We can at least get this done and feel decent about it and plant some more oak trees down here. Because we are slowly removing, uh, removing trees from up here. God, we're just, and we're out of food again. Man, come on and pick these. I'm going to have to invent new ways to swear without actually swearing because I just, I can't, I can't believe it. I really can't. Like, I, I feel like I can't even make other progress with other things because it's just going to be such a complete disaster every single time. All right. Well, what I can do is I can come over here. Oh, and I can start replacing these with uh, levees. I have tons of wood. Just bounties worth of wood. So I really should not be having any problems building stuff that is just logs. One would think. One would think. But for whatever reason, 
whatever reason, it ends up being a problem still. So, I don't know. Well, these areas here, I'm pretty sure we can do the exact same thing. Just work our way around. We haven't gotten that warning yet, so we do still have a little bit of time. Just get little bits and pieces. And I haven't even put the floodgates on the outside of this one yet, and I don't, I don't think I'm going to uh, for a while until I can figure out exactly what I'm supposed to be doing here. I don't know, it's, it's one of those things that just... Uh, I don't know, you ever had one of those days where everything that could possibly go wrong did go wrong, and then you found new ways in which things could go wrong that you didn't even know were possible? I feel like that's where that's where we're at in this in this playthrough right now. There's just so much stuff that just builds and builds and builds and builds on top of other stuff, and then before you know it, you're uh, well. I don't have to come up with ways to describe that. It's just a bad time. Just a bad time. Very, very bad time. So that will give them something to build at least with these uh, with these levees. I don't know how much they're actually going to get done. Oh, they're actually uh, actually doing some stuff. All right, all right. At least we still have our mangrove trees. And we have some mangrove fruits that we can gradually get from those. Finally starting to have some sort of storage of kohlrabis actually filled uh, when we get there. And now I've got... See, now the problem now is I've had to use all of my extract to try and heal beavers. And now I'm out of bad water. And I'm not going to get any more unless we have another bad tide. Or I want to build giant, huge, ridiculous bridge. Look how fast this is going down here. That's going to make some crazy power when we get there, when we get here. Because uh, remember, there's, I think, what, 64 of these <laughs> bad water sources? Yeah, that's uh, quite a bit. But if uh, if we want bad water, we've got to come all the way out here, and we're just, we're not equipped for that yet. Like, that, this is a long, that's a long distance to get out here. That's a lot of materials that we just do not have. And we are going to be, uh, we're going to be having some fun with that when, whenever, if we even get there. We just, we got to have, we got to have more of these guys. I think if they're not hungry, it helps substantially. It's just, man, what a, what a way to like kick it when you're down, huh? To just get absolutely steamrolled every time one tiny thing goes wrong. Oh, that's new. The, uh, the sound effects that was added in the most recent update. That's kind of cool. So we're getting a drought, which is arguably a worse, <laughs> a worse outcome than the bad tide because then we can't can't pump any of this water out. Which is why we have uh, these guys on the corners. We probably should have a lot more of these, but we uh, we haven't quite gotten there yet. I'm going to unplant uh, the three three wide on the uh, edge like that so they can get harvested and then not replanted because I think we're going to have to we're going to have to have pumps along this entire thing until I can do the thing that I've been attempting to figure out how to do by putting the pumps in the corners of these and uh, blasting it way down to have a nice reservoir uh, we're not going to be able to get anywhere so I'm going to pause the centrifuge because obviously we can't do anything because there's no bad water that frees up a job uh, these guys yeah, uh, good luck. There's no more extract, so um, hope you get healed before it runs out. That's that's about all I can say about that. But uh, yeah, the uh, the whole water water capacity thing has really really become an issue, and I should be building these large tanks. But you might notice we don't have any gears <laughs> because we oh we have all this other stuff going on. So let's let's unpause our gears. Thankfully, the engines actually produce uh, horsepower. And we have, we have logs, so it's it's not the end of the world. It's just, man, it's like how many uh, how many bad choices can one person make in a, in a playthrough to actually uh, cause issues here? So did they put all of these back in that I? Okay, good. And we're gonna continue. Oh, I need to I need to raise this immediately. 
Um, oh, come on. Why? Seriously, I can't click on this? Come on. I need these corner ones to store water. I think that was the only one that wasn't... Yeah, the only one that wasn't up. So we definitely, definitely want to have water stored in here. Uh, drought starts max height. That's what we want. This otherwise is uh, tied to contamination levels. I don't know. I don't know what it is about the way that I set this up, but it's just uh, not worked out fantastically well. So uh, drought being what it is, we are going to lose power down here. But now that the engines are not as stupid as they used to be, I know someone's probably going to flame me for saying that, but. I just, I really, really did not like the single uh, power output, whatever, because then you got to like plan your whole thing around this. It just made, if every other building conducts on all four sides, you might as well just have the engine do it too. But I digress. I need to put something else over here. I, I can't build that there, obviously. So I'm. I just, I, I, I don't want to build stuff in a spot where I'm going to have to remove it later. Even if I don't have to remove it later. But we need, we really need to get more going in the way of metal block production since um, I don't need the wood workshop to be down here. I think, I think it's going to make the most sense to just keep on building these guys. Build a bunch of those, and then uh, I know we're not going to use it right now, but there is a reason why I'm putting that there, and that is because I can now get away with putting this guy back here. Oh, that's a loud and very uh, different sound. So drop for six days. All of this is set correctly like we would expect. All right. That is a okay because now we can actually uh, we can actually grow some more crops. But getting uh, these guys put in here because now that the engines don't have to actually run on uh, on uh, anybody working there, I can just put these guys in. They probably won't stay here forever, but if I can actually get them to make gears and keep having gears, then. Uh, We'll be in good good shape, but of course the uh, actually this one no this one for right now is just going to be a uh, just going to be a smelter uh, connection. I need to get rid of that. I do want to have the second one here for sure, but we just want to want to be able to connect to this, then go all the way across. I'm sure that's going to take them all uh, all drought to build anyway, so it's probably not going to be that big of a deal. But now that we have some degree of food here. I think it's time to get into the uh, large warehouse for food storage. We've got a bunch of different options for how we want to have this stuff set up. But I don't know. I feel like I kind of got locked too much into uh, building over the water and the outside of the quadrants and all that. But we we need we just need to have food somewhere, and this is the part that gets infected until we have our um, our irrigation barriers in place. So I think we might as well. See, these are pretty much all empty. Well, they're not all empty. You know what I'm getting at. I'm going to put food here. Where's I can't ever click the right thing. Uh, fermented. Cassava. We didn't even have any storage for that. Let's put those uh, those things right there. And I know that's more planks than we currently have. Yes, I am aware. But but we have uh, our engine making some power here, and I can put another one in if I uh, if I feel like it. If I can find a place to do it, that's the other uh, the other fun part. Oh, we uh, we don't have any contaminated beavers anymore. It's probably because they all died. I don't dare delete these things because you know it's probably going to happen again. But we can let them continue to make some gears so we can make some more. How is this out of water again? Oh, come on, man. I thought we solved that problem. Oh, what a pain. I thought, I thought this had been solved. 
and we wouldn't have to worry about it ever again. But I guess, I guess I was wrong. I don't know how. Because all I've done is made the water come out in fewer places, so it should be nice and full. I don't know. I don't know. The the new oh, and this is completely dry. Okay. So that was um, not wise. I think the new irrigation uh, changes have just absolutely just steamrolled any possibility of people surviving without actually actively monitoring things. How do we have 1,700 water? Where'd that come from? That feels like that's way too fast. Well, we have water at least. Uh, we need to deepen this. Something that I've been, I guess, trying to get at for the past, well, man, I've been recording for 37 minutes. Um, yeah, this needs to be deeper. One, so it stores more water. Two, so we can put the large water wheels up here and actually use the uh, the power that they generate. But I, I, it feels like the water just evaporates way too fast now. This 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 could have even been half a half a tile high and just evaporated in two days. I don't know. I, I, just, I feel like that is just ridiculous that it happens that fast. But I digress. Traded planks two more for this. We, we Honestly, we probably didn't even need to put this here because we've got so many sticking trees everywhere. That stuff should be going should be going up here. Uh, part of the problem we're going to run into because you can't build anything on top of these. And I'm, I'm sure that was intentional to like actually make it hard. But you can't build anything directly on top of these. It has to be on a on a platform. If I make this trough here two tiles deep, then for me to put the large water wheel in, the nub is going to have to rest on the ground, but it can't rest on the ground if the ground is one of these irrigation barriers. It's going to have to go on a platform on top of that, which means I can't make it deeper if I want to use those. Because then it's, well, why, why would you why would you bother making it deeper if you can't take advantage of it? The water's just going to go underneath the wheel and you're not going to make any power. Yep. All sorts of uh, interesting problems to run into when you're trying to uh, do literally anything except basic survival mechanics in Episode 7 after everything gets just rug pulled from you. I don't know. So this uh, this playthrough might become might become something we have to take a pause on and come back to later at some point. I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing whatever is going to stick into the wind. Oh, they, they did build this, but there's no, uh, no gears. Okay. Well, at least I have stored for fermented cassavas, kohlrabis, and then soon, unless I pause this, which I will, uh, the fermented soybeans. We need to have we need to have the planks to make the gears. This is just not has not been the most ideal of circumstances. I feel like I feel like we just kind of haven't gotten anything done because we've been chasing around all this stuff for the past three episodes. But we do have over 400 kohlrabis. Now, even if it is a crappy food that takes a ton of space to grow and isn't really that good, we do have it. And we have the uh, we have the berries again, so we can start having the little baby beavers come out. Even if they are probably all going to come out at the same time and then cause birth waves and death waves. But yeah, that's part of the fun, I suppose. All right, now I got, I got 10 beavers that aren't working because I... Uh, because I paused everything, so we shouldn't really be uh, wasting our resources on any of this. Is there even anything else I should be building? I, I guess I could just unpause, unpause the builder sets, and try to construct something. Because I wanted to, I wanted to come over here, and I wanted to put all these water pumps in the corners. But we don't have planks. And we don't have gears because every time, every time something comes up, I gotta go crisis management. And I've built myself into a corner here. I've got all this extra space actually. The way this is set up, I probably will. But then I, I got tanks here, so now I can't really get rid of these guys. 
I probably should. I what I need to do is I I need to have more power coming through here. I got so many so many problems to solve. I can't really ever hope to do all of them. Yep, and there's the end of the drought. And just like that, water's back. That's an interesting sound. I don't know if I I don't know if I like those uh every time. I wonder if there's a is there an option to uh turn those down? I mean doesn't doesn't seem like it. It's just a uh everything. Oh well. I feel like that's gonna get annoying if you hear it more than a couple times. It's very loud, very long. Oh well, I digress. I shouldn't complain so much. That is kind of a neat thing. But now we got problems to solve. And now, and now I've got a uh, ten vacancies because all those pumps turned back on. We got problems to solve, and I don't know how to solve them. Um, let's take this water tank out. Because if we're actually going to have enough gears, I have metal. I don't know why I clicked that one. Can I actually start making these um, large tanks? But first, I got to figure out what in the you know what is happening down here to not have any water coming out. Is that because I had these guys open up or what? Oh, oh, okay. I know. I, I <laughs> it's all going out this side. I've got to put the floodgates in. just so much to keep up with here. Take that up to 1.5. I don't even remember how I have these other things set. I don't. Okay. Well, that might be why. Yeah, if we're going to have all of these open, then we absolutely want these to all be uh, all be set up. Oh, we got to get... Yeah, now we got water in here. We should have... Yeah, we're going to be flowing out here. How much is this? Okay, it's going to be uh, going to be like that, huh? A very inconsistent uh, power output. I imagine it'll get better once I can, I don't know, stabilize this in some way, somehow. It just seems like a whole lot is, uh, well... It's coming out here because these uh, floodgates aren't built yet. So that hopefully will get fixed. I, mean, I think it's going to be fine. I have no reason to believe it won't be fine. It's just I did not think in episode 7 we would still be dragging our feet trying to do basic stuff. I don't know. I guess that's what happens when you play the experimental branch. Some people love to... Uh, just get really mad when people complain about changes made to games and experimental, but it, it, it does actually matter when stuff gets changed. It, it's, this is not just people complaining about, oh, they changed the game. No, that's, that's not what this is. It, it, it changes in ways that are very, very hard to deal with and are significant, especially in Update 5. The Update 4 side, I, I don't remember Update 4 experimental lasting months and months and months and having the cataclysmic change like seemed like every five days or something to that effect. And they've done a lot of changes to update five since uh, that has become a thing. I need uh, more planks. See, I don't want to, I don't want to use all my planks at once. I want to, I want to actually make gears. I, I want to be able to actually make stuff and not, uh, not be completely screwed with everything here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that path out and this is going to become a little thing. And then I'm going to have space here to put in another one of these things. Temporary. I know this is not a, not going to be the permanent industrial area. I wanted to move it all down here, but it seems like we're running into issues with the, uh, the water flow aspects. Have they gotten, oh, they haven't even gotten these in. These are in, so that's good. That's, that's a lot of dead trees over here, man. Um, this is all looking okay. We're making some more metal, which is good. That's what we wanted. So, all right, so this isn't running because it doesn't need to be. That's good. I think that's why it's not running. Oh, there it goes. Never mind. Apparently, I know nothing. Uh, but I need to build... I need to try and get the gear production way up, which is why I was doing this. 
but I think, yeah, they got those two. That's the last bit of those um, floodgates to go. And at that point, they should come over here and build these uh, gear workshops. Because so we have the planks, well, kind of. And we have the logs. We definitely have the logs. We have cassavas and we have soybeans. We should be fermenting those, but I feel like we can't bring the other beavers away from working on the farms. We have so much other stuff. So much other stuff that has to get done. Metal blocks, scrap metal. See, like, this is all working fine. I don't need to have treated plank storage here anymore. That definitely did not need to be a thing. Okay. Now, here we go. Putting that stuff in. I feel like I, I should be taking fewer we were beavers away from working in the uh, the food production stuff. It is kind of like a an insurmountable obstacle at some points. So that's gonna unpause that. This is already unpaused. So they are doing they are doing some of it. Okay, so now we're not making enough power even with the water wheels. I got I gotta put another one of these in here. But I don't really have a good place to do it. And I didn't want to build another barracks here because I wasn't sure that was going to be a viable thing. I don't have enough. I don't have enough planks really. I was going to uh, maybe start putting some over here, but uh, I don't want to use all my planks for that. It's going to be considerable because I need I need to move stuff out of this area here. What is what's being stored here? Uh, gear storage, fermented cassava. Well, nothing. If nothing's in here, then this isn't a necessary thing, and I can uh, I can start building some other stuff here. It's just a big challenge to get uh, to get stuff put in place when you have so many other things that uh, that need to get done. So many other things. I wonder, could I... I mean, I guess I probably could put a ladder here and then another ladder here, but that's just... That's just like nutso behavior right there. We're making making more gears. I really need to have more water storage. So if I find a place to put a large tank... Uh, see, eventually I want to have... Oh, this is a uh, 9x9 in the corner here. Um... Eventually, I wanted to have all the pumps in the corners anyway, but I gotta find somewhere good to put water. I guess it doesn't really matter, and I get most of the materials back if I get rid of it. I just, I gotta have storage. Got to have storage. So I guess if I'm gonna have, gonna have storage, it really needs to be somewhere I can actually, oh, you know what? Well, here I am crying about using planks. I really should just put it right here, honestly. That would, that would make the most sense. Well, I'm going to use it eventually anyway, so... Might as well. Oh, if I did that, then I would have two in the middle. Okay, no, I'll just, I'll just keep this. Okay, I'll keep that right here, because then off to the side here, I've got this other stuff. Uh, we could put medical beds here, which... Uh, where are my medical beds? I don't even remember. Oh, they're right there. Yeah, I could put medical beds right here. That would leave me, yeah, that'd leave me some extra space over here if I wanted to expand some other stuff, but we can worry about that later. Uh, showers. Yeah, I know there's the shower crowd. Oh, we built the showers. Uh, no. Scratchers. Give us some, uh, some much needed recreational stuff. We'll just put some scratchers right here. That's an easy thing to do. Swimming pools. Swimming pools may be a dangerous thing to put uh, here, and by maybe, I mean definitely, but those could go easily, easily in here, depending on how you want to have stuff set up. So we might look into that at some point. But for right now, the goal is going to be to get as much water and food storage uh, going as we possibly can. We've got lots, lots to get done. We just, oh, the, the population hasn't recovered. And that's caused some issues. And it doesn't help that so much of our stuff needs gears and planks. I just don't have the power to do it. This probably should have... Uh, 
Especially now that the engine stuff has been fixed. I just need a better place to put stuff. This isn't uh, isn't doing me any favors here. But I could put one of those here, and I could then put a fermenter or something on the side, or some other thing. And I just I'm good at building myself into corners. It seems. Because I want this to be accessible. Well, I'll tell you what I'll tell you what I can do is I can, I can undo this. Okay, that just got planted. Uh, goodbye. We have so many, so many things we could be building instead. Because if I can get rid of that path, or get rid of this and put a path here, then I can get rid of this cut through, and I could actually put, uh, I can actually put some buildings here. Connect power wise. Oh, that's not. Oh, because there's still cool Robbies there. All right, well, I'm not going to harbor any sympathy toward the radish plants when there's so many that are not picked yet. We're going to get there. We are going to get there. Just, I got to make more. Got to make more power. Got to make more power. This here is... Uh, I mean, I, I don't think I want them to have to come all the way around here to access stuff, but if I can move things around to have power put in, even, even if... Even if I just did, ooh, you know what? You know what? If I did that, because of the way this is set up, yeah, I'm, I'm galaxy braining this whole thing up. The, uh, the building flipping and all that. If I did this, oh yes, yes siree. Let's, uh, let's do that and then, and then I can do, that's the wrong building. Then I can do this, and then I've got uh, this whole thing connected again. That actually kind of fits. Since I can transmit power through sides now, instead of just out the back, I, I gotta relearn, gotta relearn my biases for uh, for building stuff now. Some of the stuff is actually making sense. Probably, probably need to build large tanks first, but I can't make I can't make enough of this stuff to actually put in here, because uh, it's all got to go to everything else. Um, yeah, the engine probably does need to be first, even though I don't have enough gears. Oh, what fun, huh? I just. I gotta have more beavers, but I I know I shouldn't be building more uh, more breeding pods, because that's just gonna cause problems. Food wise, we have eleven hundred kohlrabis. So, so I, I if if nothing else, we've accomplished having a giant strategic radish reserve. So I guess we can have some sort of solace in that. Maybe. <laughs> oh man, I guess we'll see what happens with that. Um. But yeah, I, I wanted to make sure that we had full storage of this. Uh, actually, we, we do if I get rid of this, but I don't, there's no reason to delete storage at this point. Uh, berries are looking okay. Fermented cassavas, we gotta get more, gotta get more guys working here. We just don't, of course they built this first. Uh, we just don't have the, um, the power to run all of this. Or the amount of beavers. It's got all this other stuff going on. I feel like I have way too many farmhouses, but at the same time, I feel like there's no way I can have too many farmhouses. Just uh, by virtue of how this always ends up working. Oh, what fun, huh? So at least we have, uh, at least we have mangroves for now. We'll see if they, uh, if they remain irrigated in the next drought or bad tide, whatever it may be. But uh, this, this does seem to have balanced out a little bit better. We still need to replace some of these with the uh, the levees, but that's that's going to be kind of a long long term project. Uh, this one I actually did uh, most of them, so I wonder day eleven. It's very likely we get another uh, another drought or bad tide within the next four days or three. Even we'll see what happens when it takes over to day twelve. But I think I'm going to have the time. To put um, 
all of this stuff in. And by all of this stuff, I mean I'm going to leave three in the corner. Okay, drought approaching. Let's uh, let's levy this up. Let's give these builders something to do when they're not able to build everything else. But we can uh, we can work toward getting this done. And we're not actually pumping out of this corner, so it's not like it's really... Uh, that good. I should have done this one first, honestly, since we're pumping here. But it's all going to go out at some point eventually. I don't think it really needs to be that big of a deal. Yeah, still don't have enough beavers. Uh, but the prognosis is a little bit better. I really, I really should be doing, should be doing the uh, hydroponic farms. I have the science for it, but uh, water was such a huge problem that I was really reluctant to uh, to mess with it. How how do we still have? I got four of these gear factories, workshops, whatever, and I still can't. I still don't have any gears. Oh, this is actually done. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, obtain water immediately. Bring it all here. Let them continue pumping. So, oh man, I really, I really needed to have more than one of these. But uh, you know, it's it's progress. Incremental progress still counts, even if it's small, and even if it comes with uh, forty-five minutes of me complaining <laughs> about things. But uh, hopefully, hopefully, it's still uh, somewhat interesting, useful helpful, whatever, or at the very least, uh, entertaining when I make stupid mistakes so you can learn what not to do. That has to be worth something, right? All right, so what is this one waiting on? Ah, yes, it's waiting on gears. How could I have ever doubted that it would be gears holding up the, uh, holding up the engine production here? Uh, yeah, we, we very clearly need to have some more some more power here, and I probably should build a third one of these, honestly. But this is just so ugly, so bad here. I really, I need to have the industrial stuff moved down here. But we're not quite there yet. And I would love to have more lumberjacks so I could cut the rest of these trees down, but I'm, we, we still don't have enough beavers. We, we, got, we got problems to work out. And uh, we're going to have to just kind of deal with it, I guess. But now we do have a total water storage of about 3,000, which is certainly not ideal, but uh, way better than it was. That's That seems to be the uh, the theme here. So I got 1,500 kohlrabis. I think we can cool it. I think we could cool it on the kohlrabis for at least a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, since I know this is going to get knocked out, it's not knocked out right now. But uh, when the next bad tide comes in, I'm going to unplant uh, all of this until we can get the irrigation barriers and everything built. Uh, but we are no longer going to be focusing on the kohlrabis here. I'm going to actually uh, have this guy focus on soybeans because we really need to make sure, and we need more storage for those. We actually don't have any any storage at all for just soybeans. So let's let's go out of fast mode here. This is going to be fermented soybeans, fermented cassavas, Clovrabis, canola seeds. Oh, fermented soybeans. Oh, because we didn't have a storage for it. Um, so I will. Oh, this is. I'm not going to have nearly enough planks. This is going to be fermented soybean storage. We already knew that. But this is going to probably have to become uh, raw soybean storage. This is already full of raw cassavas. We just need to process their stuff faster. We've got a lot to keep up with. That's explosives. We can't even make uh, berries. Cool, Robbie's already looking there. We just got to figure it out, man. We, we got a lot, a lot of stuff that we need to be working on. And we can't do it all at once, obviously. But uh, I think in time we'll be okay. We'll get there. I will, since we are here already, I'm going to go ahead and unplant these first three, because we know we're not going to be using these long term. Uh, I'm going to unplant these first three rows at the very least. And we can we can put some storage here, too. Since this has already got a path here. But I can't help but wonder if I should leave uh, five total, including this path. So when I put the irrigation barrier in, I can actually do something with this. I, I just don't know. The not being able to build on top of the irrigation barrier is a big problem. Big problem, hard to solve. 
but we have 1,600 kohlrabis, and we got 333 of the fermented soybeans. Uh, fermented cassava seem to be lagging behind. But I think uh, now that our building is... Okay, good. They did uh, They did do most of that. Now that our building is looking a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead. I know it's the end of the drought. Oh, no, you don't have any more. You don't have any more stuff. Um, but we, we got to... We got to ferment this stuff, man. Got to get it done. Got to get these guys in here, and we got to get that rocking and rolling here but 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 we have now two engines assuming they can actually get this supplied we have the two engines so we can make 800 hp uh it's probably gonna <laughs> gonna mostly be making uh planks and gears for the time being and running the rest of this uh food operation but i think we can consider the food and the water crisis at least solved in the short term uh, we are taking steps to try and improve that. And our beavers have some scratching posts they can uh, get up on like a cat, I guess, if that's uh, how they choose to spend their time. Let's take a uh, take a look-see here at what this looks like. Yep, just like a cat. <laughs> Somebody left a comment on the uh, community survey. It, not, it was not one of the ones that I read on the stream, but they said that they uh, were disappointed that I played mostly out like this because they wanted to see what the beavers were doing. So I can't promise that I'm going to do a bunch of that stuff, but uh, try to remind me because it is they got a lot of cool animations of this game that we don't really uh, get to enjoy too much of. Anyway, now this is quite long enough of another not technically a disaster episode, but also not a great one. So uh, I really appreciate your patience uh, sticking with me uh, through all this stuff. Still got a lot of good stuff done, even if it's not what I wanted to get done. Uh, Food security is important. Water security is important. Uh, making some strides in storage is also a good thing. And we have plenty to look forward to in the future, assuming nothing else goes horrifically wrong. We'll see what happens. But yeah, that is going to be it for today. As always, appreciate you being here. Uh, all of your comments and everything. I do read all of them. I can't respond to all of them. And a lot of them, I probably don't really have anything to say in response, except uh, thanks for... Uh, commenting and give me your opinions and your ideas and everything so if i don't respond don't uh don't feel like i've ignored it i do i make sure to read every comment at least twice uh when it's when it's made and then uh before i record the next video i go back and i read all of them make my little notes and uh most of uh most of what we were talking about in the comments we did get done or at least the stuff i wanted to address it was very important to be early on that i had these four levies put in place to where we could uh, not just keep dumping water into these little troughs because you can see they're empty now. That, that just all evaporated naturally from the last like 10 days in game. So the, the, the one wide irrigation is done. We're not going to do that again. It's, it just does not work. So now the thing I'm going to be really interested in is uh, if these are going to completely dry out because the water level here it's about half. It looks like it's about half a block. But this isn't one by one. This is like this is like five blocks wide. So it really should not dry out bad. I guess we'll have to see. We'll keep an eye on it. The start of a... Yeah, that sound effect is entirely too loud. I need to be able to change the volume of that. Um, seven day drought. We'll see what happens. So uh, we'll have to deal with that uh, next time. Also, uh, I, I don't think I remembered to uh, mention the beard boosters. Obviously, very much appreciate all of you folks and all the support you give makes it possible for me to keep doing this stuff. And it's a whole lot of fun to get to uh, continue to do this. So I'm very thankful for that and all the other support as well. So no matter what you are doing with the rest of your day, stay safe and have fun. And don't forget, I made a community post, uh, well, yesterday as of the posting of this video, uh, I am soliciting input for community map reviews, or I guess playthrough reviews, not necessarily maps. So if you have a colony, that you've made in Timberborn and you're proud of it, you want to show it off, uh, submit to the link in that community post. It's a Google form. Fill out a little bit of information about uh, like what faction, what mods you have, and then you can upload the .timber save file. And then I will take a look at those and I will be making uh, some short video reviews of uh, specific uh, selected ones. I probably can't get to everybody's, 
but uh, I would like to showcase a number of those in the next couple of weeks. So whether it's folktales, iron teeth, or even the water beavers, yes, water beavers are going to be included in this. Uh, please submit those if you want me to take a look at them and show them off on, uh, well, it's not going to be streams, it's going to be videos. But if, if you want me to uh, give you a shout out on stream, I, I keep saying stream, videos, give you a shout out on videos and uh, show off what you've been working on. If there's something like a, a really big thing you're proud of, or like you made a cool geometric design with the, the dam pieces or whatever, um, inappropriate things will not be put up. So don't get ideas. Uh, I am going to screen these because I do try to keep it at least somewhat family friendly in here. Cause I know a lot of you watch with your kids, which is really awesome. And I want to make sure that's something we can, uh, we can keep doing and don't devolve into toilet humor or whatever, like some other people might, but that is quite enough of my rambling. If you're still here, I appreciate you very, very much. Even if you're not still here, I still appreciate you, but you're not going to hear it, so I guess it doesn't matter. That's uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll see each other again uh, later Tuesday for the Folktales playthrough continuation because tomorrow's video is going to be a game we haven't ever done on the channel before and a lot of you have been asking for, so keep your eyes peeled for that, the uh, the Monday Monday special video. Should be a good time, but I will see you later. Stay safe, have fun, and bye-bye.